press tab to go to edit mode then press 1, 2 or 3 to go to edit vertex edit edge and edit face now we need edit edge press 2 turn on x-ray to see the polygons behind the object now place your cursor in the middle of this edge then press ctrl r left mouse button right mouse button now move your cursor in the middle of this edge press ctrl r scroll two times and left mouse button and right mouse button now press a to select all edges press s y to make it smaller along y axis now press numpad 1 to change the viewing angle scroll in to closer the object place your cursor in the middle of this edge and press ctrl r left mouse button right mouse button hold down left mouse button and select these edges then hold down shift and select these edges press press G Z to move it along Z axis left mouse button now move your cursor in the middle of this edge hold down alt and select then press S Z to make it bigger along Z axis left mouse button to apply changes now press shift A circle press R X 90 enter press s and move your mouse in the middle left mouse button press e right mouse button s left mouse button now press numpad 7 to change the viewing angle press g y to move it along y axis okay now place your cursor over this part and press L, then press G, Y and move it, something like that. Left mouse button to apply changes. Press numpad 1, scroll in, place your cursor in the middle of this edge, hold down ALT and select, then press E, right mouse button. Then press M at center. Then move your cursor over this part. Press L. Press G Z to move it along Z axis. Left mouse button. Then shift D to duplicate the object. Right mouse button. Press G Z and move it. Something like that. Now press S and make it smaller. Left mouse button to apply changes. Shift D. Left mouse button. Shift D X to move it along X axis. Left mouse button. Now turn off X-ray. Hold down middle mouse button to change viewing angle. And press 3 to go to edit face, then first select this face, then hold down shift and select these faces. Now press I and move your mouse to the middle, left mouse button. Press I again and move it a little left mouse button now move your cursor over this part press l l then this l and this l press numpad 7 press g y and move it along y axis left mouse button now press 2 to go to edit edge Enable proportional editing and check projected from view. 
hold down left mouse button and select edges in the middle press G Y you can also increase the coverage area of polygons by scrolling something like that okay now disable proportional editing press A hold down middle mouse button to change the viewing angle okay now place your cursor in the middle of this edge hold down alt and left click then press S and make it bigger left mouse button to apply the changes now move your cursor in the middle of this edge hold down alt and left click press ctrl e mark seam now go to material properties and create two new slots select second slot move your cursor over this part in 3d viewport press 3 to go to edit faces and press L click new change color something like that more metallic then press assign double A to the select all selections place your cursor over this part press L select first material change the color and press assign move your cursor in 3D viewport double A to the select all selections place your cursor over this part press L then this L this L and this L select third material click new change the color and press assign now press tab to go to object mode change the viewport shading scroll out hold down middle mouse button and press R Z to rotate it around the Z axis press numpad del to focus to the object then press right mouse button on your child and select shade smooth hold down middle mouse button and ready now you can safely shout for the alliance or you can change the color and shout for the horde